Okay, so for this video, I would just be straightening my hair. I wasn't going to post this, but then I was just like, why not? Um, but I don't have the best angles or lighting for this video, so bear with me. But that is what I'll be doing in this video. I would just be straightening my hair. So I don't think that I'll be talking too much through this video. I've already done videos of me straightening my hair. I feel like it kind of gets old, but for those of you who haven't seen any of my previous videos of me straightening my hair, I start from the back. Um, I usually like to use a comb for like the tighter areas of my hair, which is usually the perimeter of the, my kitchen and like towards the front uh, on the sides of my uh, head. I have tighter hair, so I definitely like to use a comb there, but it's not necessarily required for me to use it throughout my hair. Also, another thing that I wanna mention is that I'm not a, like a one pass person. I'll do as many passes as I need to to get my hair where it needs to be. Um, it usually only takes about like two, maybe one to two passes. Um, and for the most part, I just make sure my ends are fully straight because if it's, if there's any like kink or anything like that, it'll make it very difficult for me to manage my hair while it's in a straight state. Okay, so as for the products that I use, I did use some heat protectant. I did that when I blow dried my hair. I didn't do it like each piece. Sometimes I do it each piece or just when I blow dry it or both. It really just depends. Um, I also use some oils in my hair. I usually don't add oils to my hair just because I don't really need to, but this time around I decided to do so because I did a henna treatment before this and I felt like it's a little dry. So, or I felt like it usually dries out my hair. So I decided to use some of the oils. They're very thick, um, which is why I don't use them, but I used a small amount so you can see my hair. Hair still has movement, oh my goodness. And then last but not least, uh, my flat iron. So I use this flat iron quite often, not this specific one, but like the brand. I've used the brand since I was like 18. I would wear it out. They used to cost so much money. Um, now they're like 30 bucks off of Amazon. Um, so that is what I'm using here. And I I know one question that people like to ask when it comes to hair straightening videos is what temperature was the flat iron on? I honestly don't know because the way that this flat iron works, it's more of a knob. Like you just turn the knob all the way to the top. It doesn't say uh, the numbers all the way through. So for me, I if I had to take a guess, I would say maybe like 410, 425 um, could be a little higher. It wasn't all the way to the top, which I think is like 475 or 450. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll place it on the screen. Um, what the highest is for the flat iron. Okay, and one thing that I would like to mention for anyone who hasn't seen any of my other like hair straightening videos, not like I have a whole bunch, but anyways, 
I do not do bone straight hair. It's just not for me. It's not what I prefer. I usually like to wear my hair kind of big and curled. That is what I prefer when I straighten my hair. So you won't see a super sleek, straight um, press for me. It's just not a thing. So after this, you'll be able to see what my hair kind of looks like. I didn't give a clear shot at what it looked like from the front. So I did insert like a video towards the end where it shows how I like to wear my hair. Also the clip of my hair from like the back, for whatever reason, that's all I showed. At this point, I think I just was like over it. I knew I wasn't gonna post this video, so I, I just stopped putting in the effort, but whatever. Um, I will show the back of my hair and you'll see the ends look like they need to be cut just because part of it looks see-through. I personally don't like that. I did end up cutting my hair, but I didn't film it because I was tired. This was like the fifth, fourth video that I filmed within a two day span of me doing my hair. So I was over it. And I, I know that people don't really like the way that I cut my hair. So I didn't think that I should film it, but I will show a clip as to how everything came out and how I like to wear my hair towards the end. Okay, so this is my hair two days after I curled it, but like five days after I straightened it. Um, I usually don't like to curl my hair right away because I like to have my oils kind of come through before I do so because I feel like it makes it stay longer. This time around, I already had oil in my hair and I was going to a wedding, so I straightened, I curled my hair. You can kind of see it's a little bit more layered than it was before. And on the, the left side or whatever side that is, uh, you can see that it doesn't stay as curled, but for the most part, my hair just stays like this. All I have to do is just kind of put it in a bun, not a super tight bun, go to sleep, wake up, comb it out, and it looks like this. So this is my preferred look. It's kind of like a messy look. I don't really like super neat hair. It just never stays neat for me, so I don't like it. But hopefully this gives an idea of how I like to wear my hair or how my hair sort of kind of turned out after the fact. So that is basically it for the video. The only thing that I feel like is worth mentioning at this point is the fact that I don't lay my edges. So you'll notice as my hair is curled here that my edges aren't laid. It's just not something that I do or that I like to do. So that's the only thing that I think is left for me to mention. But other than that, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.